let's talk about signing distributors so guys i first of all i love talking about this my name is rachel wiggum your ambassador diamond leader and just consider it such a blessing to be able to come and talk to you guys been here for 10 and a half years i love it um so here's the thing let's talk about signing distributors one thing i love if you have completed the becoming series you understand more kind of the distributor that you're looking at looking for you understand the perspective of what you're doing and how this business is going to bless your life when you're clear about that it makes it so much easier to prospect other people for me personally i want to talk to everyone when i first started this business i was a single mom so that was me, single mom, in grad school for my second master's. I did not want to keep my son in private school. So wanting to give my son the world. And so thinking about it from that perspective, I'm in this place where I truly believe that the sky is the limit. I'm sitting here thinking that um, everybody needs this business, right? So with the perspective of everybody needs this business to add in supplemental income, I am not... I don't I don't disregard anyone. I'm thinking that everybody needs the opportunity to see this to to see if this business will work for them. So I think that's number one. Like when you prejudge people, that's when you start to second guess whether you should ask people or not. But for me personally, I live by I'm serious, everybody needs this business. Now does everybody want to do this business? Maybe not, but everybody needs the business and I think that I deserve to give them the opportunity to say yes or no. I like to attribute it to my relationship with Christ, okay? Like straight up, I love Jesus, okay? And even if you don't love Jesus or you don't feel like Jesus is worthy to be praised or you don't feel like he's worthy to be served, whatever, just because you don't think that does not take away from the from how amazing God is, from how amazing Jesus is, right? And so I'm going to offer Jesus to everybody. Why? Because he changed my life. And so with me having the mindset of this works for me, this will work for me, even before it works for me, me having the hope, um, me putting myself in a position of faith that this business is going to change my life, that gives me the opportunity to open up and begin to talk about this business to literally freaking everybody. Now, how do I find distributors? I love talking to people out and about. A lot of times when I'm talking to somebody, I'm exchanging money. It's a great time to say, hey, is this all you do? Um, have you ever considered extra income? It's a great time to do that. When I am out to eat, when I'm dealing with servers, because normally they're like serving to pay off, I mean, to have extra income while they're in school or something. Servers are not normally just servers. It's normally their second job. So they're normally looking for another way to make money. And sometimes they don't make a lot of money serving. Let's just be honest. And working from their phone could make them more money. So I love talking to people out and about. Also love to interact with people online. I use reels to either attract people regarding the business, but then I also get them to my page. And I think my page is a way to cook them and clean them, right? So when they come to my page from a reel, they begin following me. I might've put up something for me and my daughter um, or my family or whatever, and they're just intrigued by me. Come on, becoming. If, because they're intrigued by me, now they'll see a post on my page that says, anybody will make some money from their phone they're like oh maybe me you know and so as they're as i'm sharing my story as i'm sharing about the success of people on my team they're intrigued and they want to be a part of or they're curious enough to come and see and that's really all you want them to do you want them to be intrigued enough to take a look at what you have to offer and so it's the confidence it's the willingness to be brave patient and consistent i'm telling you they will say yes the, the, here's my thing you gonna say yes before i quit how about that so when you have that mentality of the going the distance and continuing to get better at being you allowing this business to work for you regardless of who says yes or not that puts you in a position to where eventually people will say yes but you have to walk in the confidence that this business is going to work for me and then be willing to present the opportunity to everyone regardless of their response with the understanding that it takes three to twelve percent um exposures for somebody to say yes people say yes on the first time is a blessing and just knowing that the power is in the follow-up so there's people who i followed up with for a year and they said yes there's people i've been following up with since i started this business they still have not said yes but that does not mean tomorrow they won't say yes and so you want to keep your funnel full you want to talk to as many people as you can you want to present it from a heart of man this is what this business is going to do for me like i or asking questions like would extra income benefit your life or 
whatever like do you love the products do you think that you would want to um use the products and, and make money to be able to use the products or make enough money to use the products because some people think they can't afford it i think as you talk to people and you listen to them and then you utilize the help of your enroller especially when you feel like you're not um grasping or you're not closing people it, it's good to to put yourself in a position to learn so anyways i'm gonna hop off of here but i'm telling you i love signing distributors there's so many ways that you can sign distributors host the post um reels messaging you can message people straight up like it, it's just the boldness to believe in what you're doing and once you start to walk in that spirit of belief everything changes and in, until you have your own belief focus and pull from the belief of your enroller pull from the belief of other people pull from somebody else's story and continue to speak over your business and tell yourself this is going to work for me this is working for me and i'm just praying and waiting for the manifestation of it but i'm willing to do the work in the meantime as it all comes into fruition so hope you guys are having a great day peace out